Hello, Archibald Chesterfield the third AC3. Fuckers, AC3. And uh, today, fuckers, today, fuckers, I'm uh, making some paid reviews, paid vids, because that's where I earn my money from. And I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, it looked pretty cool with Archie with the big pile of pineapples and avocados, 50 and and $100 notes. The reality is that wasn't my money. It was debt. Financing. Debt. I owe Brian. Fuck, I want to get Brian off my back. I mean, he's one angry fucker. Paid view reviews. Here we go. This is for Luke. 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 Dear Archie, I'm a huge fan of the program and was wondering if you could make a video about a question I have. I just sent you 40 US dollars. Thank you, Luke. My question is as follows. I'm a 17-year-old living in the state of North Carolina in the United States of America. I will graduate high school in May of 2016 and my parents have agreed to get me my first luxury watch as a gift for my graduation present. Sounds good. I want to get something that signifies I am of horological significance, but I don't want something that is to get the fuck out of my way. Which watch would you recommend me getting? My budget is 8 US. If you can please address this, e this email with a video ASAP. Thanks for the time and hope to hear from you soon, Luke. Hello, Luke. It's nice to have the young punters. The young punters on the program. 8,000 US. Fuck me, Dad. Some people have it good, don't they? Jesus Christ. 8,000 US. Talk about the age of entitlement, fuckers. Entitlement. Jesus Christ. Where do they get parents like that who will just fork out eight grand? Fuck me, Dad. I was lucky getting 80 bucks out of my old man. Simple bit of advice. What do I recommend? Now, look, fuckers. I reckon you've got to do something nice here. The egomaniac would say, go and get a Rolex. Go and get a Rolex. Go and get something, you know. I would say, if you're a bit of a, if you've done well at school, if you're a scientist, you'd get a fucking Milgauss. If you're a athlete, you'd get a Submariner. If you're a business type of grad, you'd get a GMT or an Explorer 2, because you're going to be an international man of mystery. You're going to be traveling around the fucking joint. And, uh, the question is, fuckers, what should you get? If you're a youngin and a graduation present, and I refer to my good friend Descartes, who's a top corporate American lawyer, when he made partner, he got himself an Amiga Speedmaster man on the fucking moon. He got a moon watch. That is what my friend Descartes bought himself and i gotta tell you i was having this conversation with ronnie from um uh vintage watch co and i don't think you can get a greater piece for the money i think an amiga speedmaster man on the moon as well as it being a fucking iconic piece it's something that always respected always respected and I mean, I know you got eight grand, you could spend a bit more, but no, stop, stop, back the truck up. <coughs> Personally, I reckon the best watch you can get is an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. And if you want to be a complete wanker, get the big fucking box, you know, the big, huge box that it comes in now. It doesn't matter which one, that, that's a super cool gift. It's an Amiga. So, you know, you're going to get some change out of the 8,000. Just say to your parents, hey, you guys have been paying long enough. I want, this is what I'd do if I, if you were a cool kid, this is what you'd say. You'd say, hey, mom and dad, pop. Great of you to spend 8,000. I want an Amiga Speedmaster man on a fucking moon. Manual wind with the big box. And with the change, I want you and mom to go to the Bahamas for a week. I want you to have a holiday. 
Because I'm not a cunt. That's what you do. That's what you do if you're cool. Greedy little shit would say, oh, I want a, I want a deep sea. I want a submariner. The smart money is the Amiga Speedmaster man on the fucking moon. That is the smart. That is the smart money. Smart money. Honey money. That's the smart money. I reckon that's the greatest watch you can start your collection with. I mean, if I was starting again, <coughs> I've had this conversation. If I was starting again, what would I buy? What would I, what would be the first piece there? And, and I, I started my collection with an Explorer 1. Cool watch, Rolex 16, 10, 16, 1016, Explorer 1 plastic. But if I was starting again, I reckon the Omega Speedmaster man on the fucking moon, the man on the fucking moon, that is just the coolest, coolest watch to get. I reckon that is fucking, that is so cool. That is the perfect starting watch. And I'd even go as far to say, now Brian from Zircon's not going to agree with me. He says, oh, the Explorer 2 is a better watch. I've got to be honest with you. You want to know the truth? You want to know the truth? I reckon the Speedmaster, that is the legend. They've used that movement in Pateks. The Lamania based movement. Come on, fuckers. Get the Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. It is the greatest watch that you can get. I reckon that is the fucking. If I had to have one watch, just say, say for example, one watch. I reckon it couldn't get better than the. I, I love it. I love the Speed. I mean, I can wear what the fuck I want. I got a gold sub. I've got. Uh, Reverso, Grand Date, Explorer 2, Breitling Super Ocean 2, Abyss 42. I'm always wearing the Speedy. Always Speedy, 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 Speedy. It's so cool. It is the coolest watch. That is the, that is the best watch. Don't argue with me. Don't fucking ar son. Son, you sent me 40 bucks. Don't fucking argue with me. You get the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon, the manual wind with the huge fucking box. That is the gift. And you tell your mom, mom and dad, I want you with the rest of the money, go on a fucking vacation. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you nasty, vicious, foul mouth fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid. You tell that young fucker, young fucker. What's the chances that little young cunt just goes and says, no, I want, a, I want a submariner? What do you reckon? If he's a cool little fucker, he'll get the speedy. If he's a little fucking arrogant cunt who needs a whack to the head, he'll go and buy a, he'll go and say, oh no, I want the deep sea. I, re I, I reckon that's the wanker test, fuckers. We are specialized in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.